Hey, my name is James Mason with the Facebook group Transparent Traders. In this video, I'm going to show you three stocks to watch starting April 29th that will set you up for the best swing trade in the future. So before we go any further, all I ask is for you to hit the subscribe button so you, so you can continue to receive content like this and other things that we release in the future. So let's get into it. For this first ticker, this is ticker TAL. This is a bullish play. Here we are, one year, one day chart. Zooming in, you can see a complete reversal on the MACD right here of RSI pointing up. Now, what I would kind of look for here, and it's going to depend on how the market opens up on April 29th, is, and what, the reason why I say that is because of earnings and things like that. That's going to influence this a lot. But I would actually look for this one to kind of just trade sideways for a few days. If it pulls back a little bit, you know, that's great. Now, if this thing would happen like to, you know, just tank, you know, like come down here, eh, I'd be a little skeptical of it then. But as long as this trades sideways for like the next, I say, two days, just depending now, you know, this can be situational. Then, in theory, it should make another little push up. So that is what I will be looking for with this ticker. And this is, this is a ticker. T-A-L. All right, the next ticker. This is a overall bearish trade for me. So here you see it over the past year. This is ticker I-N-T-C. We have this massive gap down. And you guys can check out the news later on this, but the chip stocks, they're showing weakness. So this is why this had a gap down and also keep an eye on AMD for when their earnings are released. They could have a gap down as well. But here we are. We have this massive gap down. You know, it, it rides down and then it pulls back up on the daily chart right here. Complete reversal, MACD, RSI pointing into the ground. Right here on May 6th. You have dividends. If you look in the past and in general, when dividends are coming up, the stock goes up because people are wanting to collect the dividends per share. So I would actually look for this thing to uptrend on the daily chart up until they pay the dividends right here on May 6th and then drop then. So this is how I will play this one. I'm, I'm going to look for it to ride up. So in a sense, short term bullish here. But again, watch this thing when it opens. I mean, it could just tank more. Who knows? But that's what I will be looking for here with these dividends is for it to push upward. And, you know, I'll probably take some small positions just to ride it up to limit my exposure. But as we get closer to the actual dividends exit date, I'm going to leverage in to go short. And the final one, bearish play. This is ticker COLM. Over the past year, notice this major gap up in the past right here. This thing has room to go down to $93.44. Looking closer, you know, they just released their earnings, so that's good. Now here, you have the dividends as well on May 15th. But regardless, I would expect this ticker to start making its push downward right here. Now I wouldn't expect it to really go down here and fill this gap completely. But what I like to do is play it safe. Right now, it's going for 101.25. Who knows what it will open up at tomorrow. But I like to just play it safe. And if I'm if I make a great entry in here, just I cut it halfway. I cut the distance halfway to lock in profits. That way, I'm not greedy. I'm beating everybody to profits. 
and I'm going home. Well, not necessarily going home, but I live <laughs> to trade another day. So that's what I'm looking for on this ticker. This will actually be my ticker to watch more so than the other two starting tomorrow. But that's what I have right now for you guys. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. I hope this helps you guys out over the next few days and I will continue to you know release other ones like this and if I find anything decent for like penny stocks you know things like that I'll let you guys know about those as well so I appreciate you guys again and I'll see you in the next one